Hello friends and welcome to my new video. Today I shall teach you how do you use a logbook to calculate natural sine, natural cosine and natural tangent. Now what I am, do I mean by that? If you are new to high school, you have just now entered high school 11th and 12th grade and you are given this clock table or you have brought it from the market where you have given all the values of logarithm, anti-logarithm and then you have the natural signs natural cosine and the natural tangent. So I'm going to teach you how you can find out the so first question is why do we use a uh, why do we use a clock table? If you have a big number and you have to find out multiplication of it, division of it, then you can, can use logarithm to find the answer without using calculator. Similarly if you have to find out let's say you're given in exam, let's say we're solving one of the physics problem or maybe math problem and you came across this value, you got uh, tan beta is equal to, let's say 1.3333. You got this as the answer. Now the question is, now how do you solve it? Of course, you take the tan other side to give you beta is equal to tan inverse of 1.3333. Correct? Correct. Now, how do you solve this given question? Of course, one way to solve it is using calculator. Other way is you can use a clock table. So of course, I'm going to teach you how you can use uh, how to uh, use natural sine, natural cosine, and natural tangent pages. If you know how to use any one of these, the other two follow the same rule. Let's talk about natural tangent. As you can see clearly in this table, they're giving you three different sections. In the first column, you have all the degrees. In the second column, we have to focus on and we really have to search what value we're getting in here in this case, for example. And the third column is our main difference. Let's focus here. We have to find out tan inverse of 1.3333. So, I can see here all answers in terms of zeros and leave it out. Yeah, here I have all the answers in terms of 1. Correct? Correct. If you look carefully, if you know how to read it <clears throat> with experience, you'll find out my closest value would be 1.3270. And I have again decide 3319, which means it's simply saying 1.3319. Now sometimes by luck you might get exact value as per you require, but most of you get a very close value or close decimal point. Here I'm getting the most closest to be 1.3319. So I read 3319 as 1.3319, correct? Correct. So we science students, we use scale to help us uh, avoid any error if we have to. We close other things out. So 1.3319 is basically 53 degree and then uh, 0, 0 0.1 degree. 53 degree plus 0 0.1 degree or also 53 degree and 6 dash. This dash means minutes. Yes, you heard me right. If you have not learned this yet, let me show you in the uh, column here. Basically, 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes. This indicate minutes. And how 1 minute equals 60 seconds. Okay, hope that is clear. So knowing that in mind, I can, I have got here, uh, basically, I have got here what? I haven't got this. I have got a value very close to the standard inverse of 1.3319. That is equal to 53 degree, 53.1 degree, or can I say it as uh, 53.1, 53 degree and 6 minutes. Now that's a very close answer, that is, that is still accepted for example. If you want an accurate answer, what do you do? Look the difference between what you want and what you have got. If I subtract that in my rough column, we have 3333 minus 3319. I'm getting 14 as my difference. Hope that is clear to you. So 14 I have to add, not subtract, which means if I look at the same um, row here that is this row let me zoom a bit up so you can see it clearly okay there you go I see that 16 is the most close to 14 makes sense yes so I have 
above 16 I have 2 dash or 2 minutes under my mean difference. I have to add this up and not subtract. So my answer would be 53 degree 8 minute plus 2 minute to give, sorry, 6 minute plus 2 minute to give me 8 minutes. So therefore my friend you have got a final answer and therefore I can say now my beta is equal to 53 degree and 8 minutes. And hope it is very, very clear to you how do you use this given table. And now that you know how to use the natural tangent table, using natural cosine table or the sine table, it means the same thing. Same rule applies for you. To confirm, I have got the same answer in my phone as you can see here. I have got it to be 53.13 degree. That is same like what you had got. So with this, you have got a correct answer. And hope it's clear to you. If you have any doubt, any queries about this, let me know in the comment down below. And please do like, share, and subscribe with your friends. And uh, for new for more such video, in the next video, I'm going to discuss about how do you use anti-log and log. With this, see you in the next video. Thank you.